आई डॉक्टर एस आर पाल असिस्टेंट प्रोफेसर ऑफ डिपार्टमेंट ऑफ जियोलॉजी जमशेदपुर गवर्नमेंट कॉलेज इन सी बी सी एस सिस्टम ऑफ यू जी वन एस सेमेस्टर टू देर इज सेल बायोलॉजी एंड अंडर दैट टूडे आई विल डिस्कस ऑन माइटो पंडिया The cell has its own cytoplasm and nucleus, and in the cytoplasm, several organelles are there. Among them, mitochondria is one. Actually, mitochondria terms used in plural form. The singular will be mitochondrion. Mitochondria. actually found in all eukaryotic cells except mature rbc and prokaryotic cell it was named as mitochondria by benda the shape size of mitochondria are variable and its number is also variable the number of mitochondria will be maximum in that cell which are always in active form i mean in muscular cell because muscles used for locomotion and locomotion needs energy and mitochondria provide that energy it is one organelle having double membrane the structure will be like that that is the outer membrane and its inner membrane is folded into some finger like projection which are known as cristi This is outer membrane. I am writing O M. That is inner membrane. Inner membrane. The folding structures are known as cristi. the cristi content some particles which are known as mitochondrial particles or oxygen these are known as oxygen or mitochondrial particles a single particles has its three parts that is base that is stalk and this is head zone base is the 10 angstrom stalk is the 50 angstrom and head is the 100 angstrom that is the mitochondrial particles and uh, the number of particles seen in each mitochondria will be 10 to the power 5 to 10 to the power 6 in number these are arranged on the inner membrane now the gap between outer and inner membrane is known as outer chamber and the space in between the two cristi is known as inner chamber 
Inside it, this portion is known as matrix. At the matrix, contains mitochondrial DNA, mDNA, which is circular set. It also contains ribosome. These are ribosome and also contains calcium ion, magnesium ion, such and such. The mitochondria as contents mDNA, as contents ribosome, that means it also performs the role of protein synthesis. Because you know that ribosome helps in protein synthesis. DNA controls the process of protein synthesis. I mean translation. So as it contains mDNA, it contains ribosome and inside it several protein synthesis, DNA synthesis, everything is happening on that's why mitochondria is also known as semi-autogenal organelle or semi-auto-organelle because it can perform its all activities. It is itself one organelle and it also contains another cell organelle that is ribosome. So this ribosome helps in the synthesis of protein. That's why it is called semi-autonomous organelle. Now, we'll go to the discussion of its role. The main role of mitochondria is the production of energy. Energy production. Energy production. How? Now we know that food is the source of energy. During the process of carbohydrate metabolism, we know that the glucose provides us energy. How? Now by the process of glycolysis and Krebs cycle. Maximum energy we obtain from Krebs cycle in the form of ATP. And this Krebs cycle takes place in mitochondria. So as mitochondria produce energy, that's why it is also known as powerhouse of the cell. Understand what I say? Powerhouse of the cell. Then it has role in oxidative phosphorylation. So before going to discuss on the process of energy production that takes place through the process of glycolysis, process of Krebs cycle and then after oxidative Phosphorylation. The enzymes which are responsible to maintain Krebs cycle, they are obtained from the inner membrane of mitochondria. That means by the help of that fundamental particles of mitochondria, I mean oxygen. They supply all respiratory enzymes from that inner membrane. Now, oxidative phosphorylation, that means in the inner, if we take the membrane of mitochondria, their oxidative phosphorylation process and an electron transport system runs in that membrane. And initiation takes place from the 
ATP which is obtained from glycolysis to NADPH I mean 6 ATP produced in glycolysis proceeds towards the running of the oxidative phosphorylation which takes place in the mitochondrial membrane. So this is um, all about mitochondria very important cell organelles of the cell as because it is the only cell organelle which provides energy. That's why you also call it powerhouse of the cell. And uh, number of mitochondria is maximum in the muscle tissue as because as it provides energy and energy is essential for the movement, locomotion of the body parts which is governed by the muscular tissue. So obviously number of mitochondria will be more in the muscular tissue muscle cells, muscle fiber. Mitochondria only forms mostly in eukaryotic cell. They are absent where? In prokaryotic cell. In mature RBC also. And uh, this for anil has its important units oxygen which serves maximum role in the production of energy. Understand? So this is about regarding everything on mitochondria. Okay? Thank you.